June 28th, 2013. Back here at the Lee's property. Have a lot of work to do. Planted soybeans about a week ago. So back out here, I got to put some utilization cages up. I got to put some malorganite down and some fertilizer on the plots that we didn't put the deer soil on. I like to use this uh, four foot cage with two inch by four inch holes in it. I cut about an eight foot piece off it, tie it back together using the, the, the fence itself and one T post. It works great for keeping the deer out or any other game. And on the outside they can browse all they want. On the inside you can see what the plot is going to, how it expressing the full potential of the plot. I like putting these cages somewhere in the middle of the plot. Like I said, planted about a week ago. Just getting some germination here. And I'm going to um, pick a spot right now where the plant is already germinated and try to protect that. And uh, you know, it's trial and error. If it, if it doesn't look good here in a couple weeks, I'll move it around. But for a rule of thumb, middle of the plot somewhere, not too high, not too low. Look around on this plot I did not put deer soil on. I do not see any germination uh, after walking around on it yet. I see a lot of uh, the beans have popped. We did not have any rain for the last six days. It was hot, dry, and we just got a good amount of rain last night. About uh, half inch or to an inch, somewhere in there, depends on the area. And so I, I expect these beans to be uh, germinating right quick, but um, not compared to where the deer soil is. Out of the three locations where I did not put deer soil, I do have a little bit of germination coming in right here. There's a spot there, a spot there. I'm going to put a cage on that one, put malorganite on all of them. Now one of the biggest keys about that deer soil is how much moisture that it's going to hold. And I'm looking forward to how fast these plots will dry out depending on, you know, little to no rainfall. I'm also going to put a rain gauge out here on the utilization cage to monitor how much rain hits in this location. You don't have to worry about burning any plants with this organic fertilizer called Malorganite. You can put as much down almost as you want but uh, for cost wise it's about eight bucks a bag or so retail and uh, you know mo mostly used for lawns but we found a niche out here when I first started putting it in my garden was really keeping the uh, wildlife out of there and it's really working good for food plots. On my first application I like to use about six bags per acre of malorganite to really get a lot down. Every time it rains it reactivates the uh, odor that it has and in a couple weeks you can uh, cut that rate in half but the first one I like to put a bunch down. There are different products out there to help you get your food plot established, protect it, deter the deer, like electric fence, plot saver. If you know of something that works well for you, please let me know and we can share it with everyone. Thanks for watching episode four. Uh, if you learned anything, please leave me a comment. And God bless you. God bless our troops. And God bless the outdoors. So two biggest reasons, two biggest reasons I can think of that you can't get your food plot established. One, too many deer. 
to your native vegetation. If you have good native vegetation, the right amount of deer, you'd be able to have great food plots and, and get those deer to the next level. Get the antler size to the next level, healthier fawns. So that's, that's two biggest reasons I know of.